Hello beautiful people. Today we will be talking about, 5 weird things that happen in outer space. It doesn't take a rocket scientist, to know space is weird. But just how weird, might surprise you. Space is dominated, by invisible electromagnetic forces, that we typically don't feel. It's also full of bizarre, types of matter that we never, experience on Earth. Here's 5 unearthly things, that happen almost exclusively in outer space. 1. Plasma. On Earth, matter typically assumes one of, three states, solid, liquid, or gas. But in space, 99.9% .9 of normal matter, is in an entirely different form, plasma. Made of loose ions and electrons, this substance is in a supercharged state, beyond gas that's created when matter is, heated to extreme temperatures or is plied, with a strong electric current. Although we rarely, interact with plasma, we see it all the time. All the stars in the night sky, including the sun, are mostly made of plasma. It even appears occasionally, on Earth in the form of bolts of lightning, and in neon signs. In comparison to gas, where individual particles, chaotically zoom about, plasma can act collectively, like a team. It both conducts electricity, and is influenced by electromagnetic fields, which operate under, the very same force that keeps, magnets on your fridge. These fields can control, the movements of charged particles, in plasma and create waves, that accelerate the particles to immense speeds. Space is brimming with such, invisible magnetic fields that shape, the paths of plasma. Around Earth the same magnetic field, that makes compasses point north, directs plasma through the space, around our planet. On the Sun, magnetic fields launch solar flares, and direct belches of plasma, known as the solar wind, that travel across the solar system. When the solar wind, reaches Earth, it can drive energetic processes, like the auroras and space weather, which if strong enough, can damage satellites and telecommunications. 2. Extreme Temperatures From Siberia to the Sahara, Earth experiences an extensive, range of temperatures. Records exist, as high as 134 degrees Fahrenheit and all the way down, to minus 129 degrees Fahrenheit, 57 degrees Celsius to minus 89 degrees Celsius. But what we consider extreme, on Earth is average in space. On planets without an insulating atmosphere, temperatures wildly fluctuate between day and night. Mercury regularly, sees days around 840 degrees Fahrenheit, 449 degrees Celsius, and frigid nights, as low as minus 275 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 171 degrees Celsius. And in space itself, some spacecraft experience temperature, differences of 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 33 degrees Celsius, just between there sunlit and shady sides. That would be like, having a glass of water in the shade freeze, on a hot summer day. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, at closest approach to the Sun, will experience differences over 2000 degrees. The satellites and instruments, NASA sends into space are carefully designed, to withstand these extremes. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, spends the vast majority of its time in direct sunlight, but a few times a year, its orbit passes into Earth's shadow. During this cosmic conjunction, otherwise known as an eclipse, the temperature of the sun-facing, solar panels drops by 317 degrees Fahrenheit, 158 degrees Celsius. Onboard heaters, however, turn on to keep the electronics and instruments, safe by permitting only a half a degree dip. 3. Cosmic Alchemy. Every second, the sun fuses about 600 million, metric tons of hydrogen. That's the mass of 102, Great Pyramids of Giza. 1,812 Empire State Buildings, or nearly all of the fish on Earth, by some estimates. Fusion is the process in which, light elements are squeezed under immense pressure, and temperature into new heavier elements. Right now, the Sun is squeezing hydrogen, into helium at its core. This process, of joining atoms together under immense, pressure and temperature, forging new elements, is called fusion. When the universe was born, it contained mostly hydrogen and helium, plus a dash of a couple other light elements. Fusion in stars and supernovae have, since furnished the cosmos with more than 80 other elements, some of which make life possible. The Sun and other stars, are excellent fusion machines. Along with the creation of new elements, fusion releases enormous amounts of energy, and particles of light called photons. These photons take some, 250,000 years to bump their way up, the 434,000 miles about 700,000 kilometers, to reach the Sun's visible surface, from the solar core. After that, the light only takes 8 minutes, to travel the 93 million miles, 
150 million kilometers, to Earth. Fission, the opposite nuclear reaction, that splits heavy elements into smaller ones, was first demonstrated in laboratories, in the 1930s and is used today in nuclear power plants. The energy released in fission, can create a cataclysmic bang. But for a given amount of mass, it's still several times less, than the energy created from fusion. However, scientists have not yet figured out, how to control the plasma in a way to produce, power from fusion reactions. 4. Magnetic Explosions Every day, the space around Earth booms with giant explosions. When the solar wind, the stream of charged particles from the sun, pushes against the magnetic environment, that surrounds and protects Earth the magnetosphere, it dangles the sun and Earth's magnetic fields. Eventually the magnetic field, lines snap and realign, shooting away nearby charged particles. This explosive event, is known as magnetic reconnection. While we can't see, magnetic reconnection, with our bare eyes, we can see its effects. Occasionally some of the perturbed, particles pour into Earth's upper atmosphere, where they spark the auroras. Magnetic reconnection happens all across, the universe wherever there are twisting magnetic fields. NASA missions like the Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, measure reconnection events around Earth, which helps scientists understand, reconnection where it's harder to study. Like in flares on the Sun, in areas surrounding black holes, and around other stars. 5. Supersonic Shocks On Earth, an easy way to transfer energy, is to give something a push. This often happens through collisions, like when the wind causes trees to sway. But in outer space, particles can transfer energy, without even touching. This strange transfer takes place, in invisible structures known as shocks. In shocks, energy is transferred through plasma waves, and electric and magnetic fields. Imagine the particles as a, flock of birds flying together. If a tailwind picks up, and pushes the birds along, they fly faster even though it doesn't look like, anything is propelling them forward. Particles behave, much the same way, when they suddenly encounter a magnetic field. The magnetic field can essentially, give them a boost forward. Shock waves can form, when things move at supersonic speeds, faster than the speed of sound, that is. If a supersonic flow encounters, a stationary object, it forms what is known as a bow shock, not unlike the bow wave, that's created at the bow of a boat, anchored in a swift stream. One such bow shock, is created by the solar wind, as it plows into Earth's magnetic field. Shocks show up elsewhere in space, like around active supernovae, ejecting clouds of plasma. In rare cases, shocks can be temporarily created on Earth. This happens when bullets, and planes travel faster than the speed of sound. All five of these, strange phenomena are common in space. Although some can be, reproduced in special laboratory situations, they mostly can't be found, under normal circumstances here on Earth. NASA studies these weird things, in space so scientists can analyze their properties, providing insight on the, complex physics that underlies, the workings of our universe. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet you in the next one till then goodbye.